Should I chastise you for wasting ammo again? Woo! 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 Well, what are we doing today, you ask? Well, we're looking for the three adventures that Dr. Disaster sent us to get. <laughs> yes, that was a nice segue. Thank you, Zach, for the compliment. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls. If you put the hand over the butt, you can't get demonetized by Instagram. Oh, yeah, baby. Click, click. You're like one of those cats that has butthole plugs. What? Oh, you never seen that? They make butt plugs for cats. That way you never have to look at the cat's butthole. The f <laughs> You're making that up. I refuse. No, I we're done talking about it and I refuse to accept that's real. They're actually butt medallions. The cat wears it around their tail. So the, uh, oh God. the, the medallion dangles in front of the butthole and you never have to, you never have to see cat sphincter. That's what I think about that. That is what I think about that. I, I didn't realize you liked your view of cat face sphincters I un don't, unimpeded. I don't <laughs> like it, but the fact that somebody was like, this needs to be a thing. We'll make cat butt jewelry. <laughs> it's fancy. And then people were like, yes, I want cat butt jewelry. Pearls before cat anuses. I'm, I'm disgusted. <laughs> By the way, I don't know where clone Mike is gone. Oh. I was annoyed with him being here, but now I'm suddenly concerned. No, this is this is the Highlanders. There could be only one. Greetings, henchmen. Welcome to the Abstraction Observation Facility, where our test subjects are plagued by psychological terror, and we watch them. Also the plague. This test is very special, because by coming here, you've involuntarily volunteered to be our lab rat. Oh, goody. I'm sure you'll do just fine. This is a total betrayal, Doc! How could you make me, me, your favorite henchman, one of your subjects? Calm down, it's just a maze. I even left you a box of dino toys that you can use like breadcrumbs. You're not in any physical danger. But if you can make it through, I'll have learned something from observing you. Anyway, at the end of the maze you'll find F-Stop. Good luck! The camera weapon! Let's go! A box of dino toys to leave breadcrumbs. Oh, we could use them for Trey Moe's algorithm! I normally say that in jest, but we can legitimately do that right now. Okay. Oh, great. There's multiple lab. Well, this maze will be easy. I guess you could look around and see where everything is. I, I said you could use Trey Mall's algorithm, but it this is probably just one of those mazes. You could solve by following a single wall. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, there we go. Stairs. That is that. <laughs> oh, this is the start. Hooray! We've solved it in reverse! Woo! All right, well, now that we know where the start is, all we have to do is find the ending. Yes, which is the goal to begin with. We will go this way. Okay, I'll follow you. You seem to know where you're going. Not! We will go this way. No. Yes. We will close this door, and I'll drop a dino toy in front of it so that I know we've been here. Okay. If only selecting a single toy and dropping it weren't so incredibly cumbersome. Yep, almost got it. Almost got it. You're so close. Yay, there you go. All right, moving on. <laughs> did you see that? Uh, see what now? Did you Did you see the person that was down there? I don't see anybody. There was a person in this room. I think I would have seen them. I'm pretty sure there was a person in this room. Yo, is there anybody in this maze? Somebody else captured by Dr. Disaster? No. I'm pretty sure. Gah! What was that you just shot? Uh, nothing. Nothing. It definitely wasn't a person. Um. What the? <laughs> Where'd the body go? Where's the body of what? The body of what, Zach? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. All right, we made it out. I think. The F-stop. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and an <Hey>. abstraction kicker. <laughs> yeah, it's one of these rooms. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Get out of here. Go away. Beat it. Scram, am, scram. 
Hey! Experiment number 66. The F stop. Purpose to turn a camera into a deadly weapon. Yes. Hypothesis. If I augment a Primazim Ultra Lens with a fission battery, the camera can fire deadly shards of reality from a shattered dimension. Observation. The F stop actually worked, believe it or not. Holy shit, I didn't think I could actually do it. The camera could open holes in reality which would unleash pieces of other lesser dimensions in small concentrated bursts, like really, 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 really hot plasma. It was a surprisingly effective weapon, but the clones that I noted after several uses, our own reality was starting to fracture slightly, causing certain objects to come in and out of different dimensions. Due to the erratic nature of these dimensional shifts, we deemed the device too dangerous to use in its current state. So I took out the ultra lens and basically just stuffed the capacitor of a Gauss rifle inside. <laughs> All right. Still works, just fires Gauss rifle rounds now. Good, we have a weapon that won't collapse the universe on us. Hooray! Let's try it. I don't remember these being here. Yeah, why does Dr. Disaster have artillery in his area? They're big old cannons that- Oh, there's some enemies. Who wants to get their picture taken? Only five like ninety nine. dollars Group photos! You oh, like I'm about that? to faint! I'm so beautiful! Got it. <laughs> it works! It takes pictures! It's just not very satisfying. No, not really. I wish it was more satisfying. It should make like a louder pop. Why don't you yell pop every time you pull the trigger? Okay, that'll work. Also, this big stupid reflector keeps getting in my way. I can't see. <laughs> it does take up a good pop. chunk of the screen. Pop! Pop! Take picture! 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 Hmm. If there's one thing I like about the camera, is that you can't kill us with it. Hopefully. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Click. Documenting all the ordnance I see. Yeah. Gonna put these in a file and mm. this is this is a good shot right here. Check this out. I call this one the resistance of man. And this one's called Glitchy Broken Game. So far, I can't detonate any of these artillery shells, which makes me sad. It makes me alive, so I'm happy. Ooh, I, I bet I can go on this one too. <laughs> Take a picture of that, Zach! Ode to a previously fond memory. Whoa, 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 boys, 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 settle down, click, photos, photos, group photos for everybody. Pick them up at the purser's desk. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time you die, it makes me laugh. Oh, what's this building? Oh, woo, what's this? I knew you were going to do that and I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> Project Sierra. Yeah, this is... The Project Sierra Labs. Ah, lovely. We're gonna call this one a simple office. Oh. <laughs> I guess that was a quantum office cup. The act of observing it changed it. Uh, welcome to the Crimson Cloud, whatever the hell this is. Oh, it stinks. And it kind of tastes like salmon. What the hell was that? Ah, ah, what the... Say cheese! Say cheese! Say cheese! Ow! Ow! Oh my god! Oh, I gotta get pictures of this ghost! The scientific community isn't gonna believe this! Ow! Stupid ghost! I'll prove my theory that Buckshot kills ghosts! I've killed a ghost! Ghost is unconscious. Oh, great. Zach, can you hear me? What? Huh? Who's there? Calm down. Who said that? Stop freaking Who out. Who is that? It's I'll me. kill you! Zach, you're having a bad trip. What? You've taken too much Neptune. No! We already established that Neptune does nothing! Apparently it does, because you are having some kind of fit right now. No, I'm not! You're having a fit! Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. There's no way this ghost could ever see me. Run away from the ghost. Ow! Stupid shotgun! Ah! On hand a convention, ah! Mr. Courier. All creations of Dr. Disaster must be destroyed, for they are stupid and not nearly as cool as my inventions. 
Okay, thanks for the announcement, Dr. Poultry Guys. You want to show yourself, you coward? No? Okay, thought so. Hi, Mike. Hey, welcome back. What happened? What was I doing? Uh, you were tripping hard on some Neptune. Well, I know, but what was I doing while I was tripping hard on Neptune? You were saying that you could see the future and screaming about toxic clouds? Uh, I guess Neptune does increase your perception. Does it allow you to see the future? I mean... I saw a horrible place that looked like it was made of adobe and was filled with a toxic cloud and there were ghosts. Why would we ever go to a place like that? I think I was just hallucinating. There's no way it could actually make me see the future. Yeah. My future's my own to discover. Also, I picked up the suit. We could probably leave now. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Well, let's get... Where was the suit? <laughs> it was in the lab. Which Seriously? Is... Yeah, you went through the door and took a right. You just take a left. The lab was right there. Oh my god. <laughs> let's just get the hell out of here. See? This is the armor. It's the Auto Dock Suit 3001. It looks stupid. I agree. It's power armor, so there's no way to make it look cool. <laughs> I suppose in some universe, power armor is probably cool, but not that one. Yeah, I'll wear it for now until we find the third item, but I'll probably just give this to Dr. Disaster and not care too much. What the hell is this? I don't know. Tongs? I don't know. It just looks like some kind of weird abstract thing that I would see in one of my nightmares. Ooh, take a picture of it. Ooh, good idea. I, I wish I could adjust my focal length. Stupid fixed focal length lenses. We can Photoshop out the edge of the building later. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Time and space. I was going to say memory of a broken promise. I have found the secret entrance. All right. Let's... I also have this camera. Time for us to bring the fight to Waffles. We... We've been we've been here before. Yes, but now we're not locked out of it anymore. Oh. Google how lobsters talk to each other. <laughs> they pee in each other's faces. That's not true. They pee out their faces at each other. Come on. It is true. Lobsters talk by peeing out their faces. I think you're making things up. No, it's true. Maybe they spit on each other. No, just... they pee out their faces. It's they pee out their faces. Look it up. I'm not kidding. It sounds like a real true fake fact. <laughs> Had to reload my camera there. <laughs> ah! Ghost! Ghost! Oh, no. What the hell is that? That's just part of the uh, security. I've been flipping some of these oh, switches. Oh, that's a hollow guard. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was a ghost. Remember Dr. Child told us to flip switches to activate holo holograms? I vaguely remember that. Hey, hollow guard, let me take your picture. Click. Click. Are you mad that he captured your soul? Click. No, because you got no soul? Go cool. flash photography, please. <laughs> The unfinished pipe works, Mike. Yeah, Welcome. Let's go murder Waffles with a camera. Yeah, Waffles, you're gonna die. Or maybe be bad Ow! <laughs> badly injured. <laughs> ah! Don't worry, I saved your life. Oh, thank you. I was busy taking pictures of a TV screen. I could tell. And then we'll call this one The Whores of War. And this one's called Door on Fire. Just, uh, straight up honest. You gotta appreciate that. Yeah. Ah, we're back here. Where are you, Waffles? Whoa, Waffles found us! Hi! Ah! <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, Waffles went down, like, a little bitch. The Death of a Salesman by <laughs> Arthur Miller. You ripped that one off! No, I didn't. Arthur Miller didn't come up with it. You're taking a picture of a minigun with yeah, your Yeah, we'll camera. call this one a modicum of restraint. <laughs> That wasn't what I intended to happen, but excellent. Experiment number 14, Waffles. To create a super intelligent Night King clone from the DNA of 100 dead Night Kings so that I can have a really effective personal chef. Hypothesis. In my test on Night King, I've discovered that they're very perceptive and fast thinking. This will make for a great chef. And if I imbue them with super intelligence, they should be able to make some of the best meals I've ever had. Observation. Turns out, Waffles is a terrible cook. I forgot that even though Nightkin are very perceptive, they also have huge hands and are kind of clumsy. Along with that, Waffles appears, appears to be very disinterested in cooking most of the time. He keeps asking questions cooks shouldn't ask, like, why are we here? And <laughs> what do you hope to accomplish? <laughs> it's frankly bothering me now. The Neptune that I take already has been spiraling existentially most of the time, but this is too much. Conclusion. I'm still not sure what to do with Waffles. He's not much of a cook, but I don't think the outside world is ready for him. So I told him to stay here at the labs for now until I figure out a use for him. Oh, speaking of experiments, we're just trying to find Dr. Disaster's third thing. Oh, yeah, is it this? 
This capsule is still working, surprisingly. It appears to be a modified autodock, only the console says it's for the Symbiosis Project. Apparently it's designed to inject you with some kind of microbe, which is the invention itself and not the entire machine. Despite the possibly hazardous implications, you figure that the doctor wouldn't have sent you to retrieve this invention if he knew it might kill you, right? I'm saving first. <laughs> I don't know why- You don't trust this? He couldn't even remember what it was! <laughs> Experiment number 42, Symbiotic Microorganism. Purpose, to create a symbiotic relationship between a minute parasite and a human host body. That sounds terrible. Hypothesis, the host will have enhanced ability as a result. All right. Observation, it works, surprisingly enough. The parasite, though I guess it's technically not a parasite if the relationship is symbiotic, but whatever. Yeah. Erections! <laughs> it's a mutual thing. It, it is only like a half a dozen millimeters long or so. But the stuff it can do in your body is fantastic! Don't ask me how it works, though. We just threw a bunch of genes into a blender <laughs> and tested whatever came out! Oh, God. After, like, 138 failed tries... Wait a minute. 138, yeah. We finally came upon one that actually worked. Or, at least, that's what the test subjects we forced the microbe on said. Uh, then again, if the test is to see if you survive being injected with a microscopic superorganism, and you do, then that's probably good enough for an A-plus rating! Even though the microbe does offer many useful benefits to the host, I am not going to inject myself with it anytime soon. Not because it's dangerous, because it's gross. Ew! I don't want that thing in my head. Ew! Ew! ew, ew. ew. All right, Mike, get in there. Uh, no. Fine, I'll do it for science. You step inside the machine and flinch as the door shuts suddenly behind you. Ah! <laughs> Trapped in darkness, you can only hear the whirling of little mechanical parts above you. <laughs> A needle comes out of nowhere and pokes you in the butt. Ow! It, it only hurts for a moment, but as other needles begin to poke you, you don't feel any pain. My uh, butt! No, not even when a saw blade tears into the back of your head and a cluster of tiny robotic arms mess around your cranium. It just tickles a bit. <laughs> After a few stim packs that are injected into your neck and you heal up, the machine lets you out. Woo! For the most part, you feel numb, but the uh. feeling subsides after a moment. Ooh. However, you can't shake the feeling that something is different. Especially when a new perk appears in your Fitboy labeled Gross Symbiosis. Oh no! You have a feeling that whatever the invention it was that Dr. Disaster wanted you to get, it's inside you right now. Son of a bitch! Due to Dr. Disaster's experimentation, you are now more durable and hardy. However, there is also some kind of parasite leeching directly off of your brain. Uh, you don't have a brain, you're technically brainless. Oh. Woo! But it's cool because as long as you're alive, you'll benefit for it. So it's best not to think about it. Oh, you took Waffles' gun, huh? Yes, it's a very angry doggo. <laughs> All right. It's 44 instead of 357. Did you have fun scavenging the ruins of one of Dr. Disaster's failures? No. <laughs> what is this whole crater but just one big mistake? Dwell on that. No, I won't. You, you can't make me think, you also can't make Zack think, because he doesn't have a brain. Yeah, I just got a parasite in there and some parts that I cobbled together, and also a graphics card from 2003. Yeah, dumbass, maybe you should have figured that out. <laughs> Who's the smart one now, bitch? No, seriously, who is the smart one? I can't yeah. tell. <laughs> is, it, is it me? Am I smart? <laughs> so I guess I need to go up the stairs. Nope. <laughs> yeah, what was that about me, me not being the smart one? I will say nothing. We have escaped! Oh, yeah! Hello, hello, what's this? More security that we've activated. Oh. Hello there, disaster security. Don't talk to him, he's on duty. You be a good robot. He doesn't need your permission, but he will. Okay. I'm gonna call this one Milk Milk Lemonade. Around the corner, fudge is made. It's just a child's limerick. Yeah, but it's a jar of pee. 